little job for me. Problem with the efflorescence and it's actually windswept, deteriorated. Could be either the wind or it was just a bad mix and they've pointed it in the, the full sun. Hi Glenn here from GMT Point and Specialist Limited. I just wanted to show you a couple of different techniques of doing pointing. So you've got, I prefer to do perps first and then the beds. Um, but I'm going to show you a different way from what I do it. Let's do beds first I don't particularly like this way what I do is have my hog up here but I want you to see me putting it in When I pick it up, it's a triangle shape, so it pushes right back to the joint. See, I almost done the perp sign because I think it's weird. Right, so then what you can do. Is don't clean any of this up yet. Just do your perps. I prefer to do all the perps first. It's just more natural to me. And when you're learning, if you cut it off, you can see that it's pushed all the way back. If it's not all the way back, you can push it all the way back. I just think the other way, you can leave yourself voids. But once you get a bit quicker and you've done more you can decide which way is better for you right that's just natural to me this is a bit wetter than normal it's just that this brick's drying out in the mix so quick So when you put it in, come back on yourself and then forward. I'm right handed so I work from the right. I'll pull it to my right. If you're left handed, pull it to your left. I've seen people go like that and turn it round. Um, it's just an awkward way of doing it. When you pick something up off, off the mat like that, make sure there's nothing on the back, just scrape it off. And then if you come to pull these off, what you can do is you can mark the wall see that's too soft it never popped off so just leave it you 
you get near the bottom and your trowel won't fit in right, it'll fit in that one just turn your trowel over pick it up from the other side and come up When it's deep like this you can only do short bursts it's like you see people do a big long line but it, they've just not ground it out deep enough so there's two different ways of doing it and it's entirely up to yourself there's no right and wrong ways it's just that I've done this for 25 years. I've done it with the herbs first. Um, so when I've done this quite big, so it can show you when you're putting it in, put it in and leave it, don't mess with it. And do like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then do your, per uh, your beds or do your beds first but only do three perps wide and then you're constantly working in little squares any questions just give me a message i'll do a little video when it's all finished and cleaned up thank you right, i've left i've overdone this a little bit just to show you um when it's timed to start clearing off see this it should come off in a without it smearing see that see how it comes off in one one line that's the perfect time to start knocking it back If you do it too soon, it'll smear the brick. Oh. Right. <clears throat> so you can still put it in and take it off. But that's all you want to do is just chop it off. Right, so when you come to clear up, you can do all your bed joints first and then come along and do your perps or do all your perps first and then do your beds it's entirely up to yourself <laughs> 